in this video I'm going to show you how to make that easier into a jQuery plugin so this is how to make a plugin basically all you have to do is set the element in its final position so if we look at the element where it is now it's right in the center of the screen which is where we want it to end up okay uh, our our plugin is going to animate outwards okay so I've called it animate out so let's take a look at how to get the box in the center first uh, to get you need to set the left and top and width and height to get it in the center basically you need to first starting with the left uh, position okay this is position fixed by the way uh, you're gonna get the window width and you're gonna divide it by two and then you're gonna subtract the width of the object divided by two y equal zero okay so now you can see that there's our box okay it's not quite in the center but this dot is actually right in the center okay so now we need to subtract okay the width of this box divided by two if you see if we move back about this much it'll be in the center right so we'll subtract from this okay we will subtract uh, the width w which is the width of the object divided by two okay and you can see now that that puts it in the center okay so that's how you center something so it's the width of the page divided by two subtracting the width of the object divided by two All right. now to start off with a brand new jquery plugin start off with a parenthesis okay function dollar sign curly brace okay that starts off saying let's start with some jquery okay we're passing in the jquery object right here then we're going to use the jQuery.fn, which is basically, you know, creating a function of jQuery. Okay. Now call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine animate out, and that's going to equal a function, and you're going to pass it in options. Okay. Options is an object. All right. So when you pass options in, you can see my animate out right here. Objects take parameters as name, value, name value and if you're familiar with jQuery you'll notice the, the similarity here so in curly braces in your options you'll pass in your options as objects okay so this options is an object not a string so first off we're gonna set some defaults as an object that way in case options aren't set okay they'll get set here so we'll set our direction to center as our default d direction to outward, okay, to animate outward, and then where our speed is going to be a thousand milliseconds, so I'll actually put in in milliseconds, okay. And then easing is what type of easing to use. Now, if you have uh, the easing uh, JavaScript class installed, okay, go look it up. Then you can actually use all kinds of easing. So if you see in mine up here, I'm using Ease Out Expo, which does not exist in regular jQuery. But if you actually get the uh, get the easing package, then it does. Okay, so you have that option. If I don't have that at all, let's actually I'll show you what that looks like. If you don't have the easing, this is what it looks like. See, kind of you know slow and weird. So I really like to have the Ease Out Expo for, to make it look to make it pop you know so next thing what we want to do is we're gonna extend okay our jQuery object first we're gonna extend it with the defaults okay which is set all these uh, parameters and then we're gonna set it with options that way your options override the defaults okay just kinda of take this verbatim just whenever you make it just copy and paste this okay now we're going to return this dot each as a function. Okay? So this is going to loop through every matched element of the animate object. So what I mean by matched is I am using content box as but I could be doing something like, you know, uh, my class and this would animate every class that I've passed in. Actually, we need a dot there. Okay? So that so it needs to use dot each to loop through each of the matched options. Then, uh, now we're going to start into my code, uh, which is just what I have in here. Um, I'll go through that in a second. But in the end, this is the uh, this is how you end it right here. You need to end it with a curly brace parenthesis semicolon, which is going to end this each function. And then we need to end it with a curly brace, which is going to end our function options. 
and then we need to end with a curly brace um, right paren left paren jQuery okay which is basically going to say this is of type jQuery all right so that's the basic format of a jQuery plugin let me explain uh, this is actually easier to explain than my last video of how we're doing this directions okay we're going to set h to the current each element height so so when I, I'm going to just call it current from now on but we're in an each statement so when I say this it's referring to the current iteration of this loop okay I know it doesn't seem like a loop but it is it's referring to the current iteration object okay now again with mine um, content box is the only thing in here so this is now referring to that w is going to equal the width of that object x is going to equal to the position dot left again position is in itself an object it returns left and top so position dot left and position dot top okay so basically we, we had the user set their final positions before calling this function okay that way we're going to save these values because we're about to change where it starts so to get options whether you pass them in or their default you do options dot okay and then whatever they were because like I said options was an object so to get properties of an object you do options dot property property is dir, dir for this which is uh, you know default center okay let's look at the case center um, if you don't know about switch statements what they do is they switch a variable and when that variable equals this case it does that this case it does this in this case it does this if it fails all of them it does the default if you don't have a break then it will go directly to the next one. So that's why I have case center and default right here with no break. If I had this, case center would do nothing. Right now, case center falls right through default because I want the default to be the center. All right, so let's take a look. Our starting, so we're going to move our left to, okay? We're going to move our left to the uh, x value plus the width over 2. So we're going to move this box to what did I say to the uh, start left equals x plus okay so we're gonna here's our x value now and we're gonna move it to here which is the width over 2 which is basically moving it to the center of the screen okay we're gonna do the exact same thing for top we're gonna move it this point down to here and again if we do both of those that's gonna move our corner this corner to right here in the center okay then we're gonna start our width and height at zero so we're moving our corner to here and then we're putting our size at zero and then we're just gonna use the jQuery's animate uh, normal function to just animate those parameters back now the reason it works and I'll show you that right here this is just animating back to the original okay now the reason this works this way is because it's moving the object back to this corner while growing it the opposite direction that's why it looks like it's growing out but what it's actually doing is moving backwards the same speed that it's growing the other direction okay now we can see easily how we do X and Y now um, if we're animating X